Alrighty, let's continue speaking with Mefred. A life more ordinary. Oh no, my chocobo's out. Oh shit. Alright, let's make this quick. Ah, uh, there you are, Mercy. I've been trying to help the villagers deal with this food shortage of theirs. Recently, the Imperials have been swooping into villages unannounced and seizing supplies in order to prevent the people from stockpiling, in case they might be in league with the resistance. It's not much, but I've taught them a few tricks to better hide what little they've got left. How's Lise getting on, by the way? You think people would be more inclined to trust a local girl, assuming they remember her, that is. Dude, I don't know. I just helped a dude get over his shingles or whatever that was. Hey, Lise. Speaking with a cynical youth. No, no, I didn't mean to. And where were you these past 20 years? Where were you when we were being grounded under the Black Wolf's boot? On the other side of this bastard wall, living the high life, I wager. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. I'm trying to figure out Lisa's voice again. Oh, and who's this? Another one of your freedom-loving friends de deigning to help us poor unfortunate souls? Trying to whip us into a frenzy so we'll go and storm a castrum with our pickaxe pickaxes and shovels? Leave, all of you, before you bring a cohort down on, all, down on us all. He looks like 20s, not youth, not youth, whatever. Yeah. And you, don't you dare speak like you're one of us. You can't even begin to understand what we've been through. You weren't here, Lise. You weren't here. This is my home, and I love it with all my heart. If you truly have any love for it, too, you'll keep us out of your doomed rebellion. He walks off. He has a point. No matter what I say or do, it doesn't change the fact that I left them behind. But this isn't about me or anyone else. It's about Alamigo. Let's go and find Mefred. Once again, if you ever have your Chocobo out as a fighting partner you and you want to maximize the amount of time you have per Gishel Green, make sure you mount as soon as you can. Keep um, cutscene stuff to a minimum. Mephred. Cutscene, speaking of which. I think once you're, if you're actually in a cutscene that you have, uh, like it, you know, it fades to black and then goes to cutscene, I don't think that counts as time, but... Looks like the Elder wasn't the only one unwilling to hear us out. Can't blame them, given what happened at the Wall. I thought I might be able to appeal to them as a fellow. I don't know, uh, but if anything, it just made them angrier. I haven't lived uh, through it like they have. I can't claim to know the struggle like they do either, Lise. I ran too, I. But if I hadn't, I'd never, I'd have never met Mercy or the rest of you. We might not be here today, in a position, in a position to make a difference. Sorry. So I don't regret my choices, nor will I apologize for them. There's more than one way to fight. She smiles after a time, nods, and a commoner female comes running up to us. Help! Someone! Anyone! We need help! I don't like the sound of that one bit. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. Cutscene continues after a black screen for a second. We're... we're sorry. We're Krata. He... The trib... The tributum. And... And the bloody ratman. They... Damn it all! You there. Take a deep breath. And then tell us what happened. She stands. It was all business as usual. The tributums due soon, and we were taking it to the Imperials when the Kikrin attacked. They took my brother and our money. Took him where? Ruins to the south of here. It was just an old temple before they came, and... Listen, we're Karadas, the only family I've got left. If I lose him, I... The ziggurat? If the Rotman took, you, took him there, he's as good as dead, says that cynical youth from earlier. We've got to get after them. If there's even a chance her brother's still alive, we have to try. We have to try. Um, the two of us agree with Lise, and then that cynical youth kind of like reacts, but then like looks down. Like he might try to go with us. 
You're right, Lys. We've got to help them. If not for the missing man, then for the Tributum. The Garleans won't suffer excuses if they're late. We've got... White Mage or... Red Mage. 255 feet. Or a plus 6... 3 plus 6 to direct hit rate material. That's actually kind of cool. Um, let's check my gear first. So, White Mage, Red Mage, 255 feet. I'm on Red Mage now. Got 270. My Mage is 260. So. Let's hop over to Paladin just to get the experience points. But take the direct hit rate plus 6 times 3 gems. Honestly, Paladin is the one that could use the experience right now, even though. Red Mage and White Red Mage has Red Mage and Dragoon have longer Q time, so Paladin can catch up pretty quickly, tanking shit. It's always kind of a tough one for me. But yeah, I'm gonna continue on Red Mage. Next quest. The color of angry Kikern. Kikern. Q I Q I R N. Kikern? Kikirn, Kikirn. They've been a, they've been around for as far as I know since Final Fantasy XI. I'm sure they existed before, but I don't remember. So, all right. Anyway, so we're cro we're W E R C R A T A. We're Krata. So we're Krata is being held somewhere at the Ziggurat to the south, which has been taken over by a host of Kikirn bandits. That about covers it then. Be prepared for a fight. They may not be the most challenging foes, but there's sure to be a lot of them. All right, Mephred. Let's do this. Fight. Round one. Fight. Again, this is kind of a sparse environment. Uh, mostly dirt roads. Got some weird, like, green ghost looking floaty they're called dust anillas they mostly just cast arrow at us but they look kind of like um a bigger more cultured version of that slimer ghost from from ghostbusters like the the original ghostbusters movie i say original i'm pretty sure that was the original ghostbusters one was the first ghostbusters ever i think Anywho, um, but yeah, uh, kind of desertish, but with some veget, like a, a fair amount of vegetation, honestly. But I would not call it like grasslands, forests, etc. Lots of hills, rocky areas, areas, areolas. We we've reached the Kikrin encampment. We're gonna try to be stealthy when we can. Not in the ire, the direct attention of any of the guards walking around and such. The touch, the feel of cotton, fabric of our lives. I got a cutscene. Please, let me go. I'm begging you. I don't want to die, says a random voice. We look up like this kind of... It's like a five-level pyramid meets an inverted five level pyramid somehow and the voice is coming from somewhere in that entire region kind of high-ish but I don't know how high hear that? I think it came from the top of the ziggurat and then five Kikrin who dares come to loot our man flesh ours to eat ours to eat Kikrin kind of look like they got a long snout um, but otherwise, they're humanoid shapes, small, size of like a hobbit, halfling kind of thing. These ones have hoods on and like glowing red eyes. We knew it would come to this. Kill them quick before they alert the others. It's AoE time, baby, if they're all grouped. Which I can't. Oh, we have to make our way over to the fight area. That's kind of odd. Mephred and Lise are standing in the middle of three already downed Kikrin. Okay, I'm not gonna hate Lee because these guys are like right here. 
AoE versus two is just not that gratifying to be honest. And they go down quick enough, especially with that Chikabao. Pegasus. Alright. I can't get around this one, can I? I can! Oh, didn't attack. Should've, but didn't. Weird. I like it, but weird. <laughs> oh, wait. I do need to be down here? Where am I going? Oh. Oh, there's an etheric current. I almost missed it. I would have missed it if the west thingy hadn't like, directed me to be here. I think I have sleep. I just never have never used it. Or I haven't used it on a red mage in a while. Pegasus is under a bit of attack, but we're both collectively fine. Here we go. I have not been using my Fletch cooldown like I should be. Search the Ziggurat for Workrata. Uh, so, it could be all the way up. I'm not sure yet. We'll go all the way up. Let's see what. Oh, oh, he could be on like the top. Yeah, okay, I was going up the, the way that I should have. Okay. Let's see if I can get around. I don't think I can. Five second cooldown should be used as much as possible. I just forget sometimes. Especially if I'm like, if I haven't played in a while. Okay. We're Kratos here with a Chikobo and some Kirkrin dudes. I'm, I'm gonna say you're a caster, right? Okay. Where's my. There we go. Daily time. Prada is here, is Jacobo is still with him. Being awesome sauce. By Rolger, what did I ever do to deserve this? I've I've gone to bed hungry for months. I'm skin and bones. I'm i I'd, I'd, I'd hardly make a snack, much less a meal. This is a cutscene, by the way. Oh, you found him, says Lise. He's like, scared looking around. He sees us finally. What wait, are you here to rescue me? Your sister sent us. It's going to be all right. My sister? Oh, Ralgar be praised. She's safe. And you, you lot fought your way in here just for me? To think there are still good, brave folk in this world. We should go before the Kirkrin return in force. Do you still have the Tributum? Oh, gods! The Tributum! The Imperials will be wondering where I am. I have to go. Wait! Right now? In your condition? You don't understand. We were given a warning last month for being short. If I don't make it in time, there's no telling what will happen to me and my sister. So the Jacobo is carrying the... Basically the tribute. Tributum, whatever. Elise wants to go with the dude, but... Um, she's blocked. By, uh, whatever his name is. My friend. Talk to Lise to, com to complete the quest. I'm glad we saved him, but seeing him run off like that, I've got a bad feeling about this. The color of angry Kikrin is done. This video is done. I'll see you guys soon.